In recent years, the space simulator genre has been re-emerging. With games like Star Citizen and No Man's Sky in the works, you may be looking for some peripherals to enhance your immersion into these worlds. A HOTAS or hands-on throttle and stick is a great way to get real feeling controls for these sorts of games. Today we're going to be looking at the newly released X56 Rhino from Satec. This flight stick and throttle combo is made from high quality plastic materials, but just because it's plastic doesn't mean it's not built well. This is definitely a top notch piece of gear. It has a good weight to the units and it's completely loaded with buttons, and comes with a nice piece of software for customising every one of them. One of the biggest contenders at the moment in this genre is the game Elite Dangerous, developed by Frontier Developments. This game is unreal. Starting with a basic ship and a handful of credits, you're dropped into a massive online open galaxy that's a one-to-one -one scale of the Milky Way. Every one of these dots is a star, and every star hosts its own system full of gas giants, ring planets, and moons. An update came earlier in the year that allows pilots to fly down and actually land on some of these bodies. You can drive around, do missions, and visit bases. But look at this. Look at how many stars there are. You can go to any one of these. There's literally more than you could visit in your entire lifetime. Oh man, it's pretty crazy just trying to wrap your head around just how vast our galaxy is. But hands down, there is nothing like playing one of these games with a proper HOTAS setup. New to the X56 over previous models is both the flight stick and throttle now have these little joysticks for your thumbs. I think these are a good addition. In Elite Dangerous, I bound these to my thrusters. And because they're analog sticks rather than hard buttons, you can incrementally increase or decrease your acceleration, allowing smooth landings or quick strafes during dogfights. You can also push these sticks in for another function, although I didn't really like the feel of this. They're just a little small and I kept missing the stick half the time. Luckily, the X56 has more than enough extra buttons. With three hats on top of the stick, multiple triggers, and the throttle has a couple of buttons on the back, three sticks for your thumb, two rotary wheels with buttons, and a whole host of metal toggle switches and knobs. And on top of all that, you have three layers of mode selection. So yeah, you'll never run out of buttons. Elite Dangerous is a simulator though, so you can bind all these little switches to things like your landing gear, cargo scoop, and even your ship's headlights. And they feel legit. Flying into a space station and flicking a switch for your landing gear makes you feel like a proper Han Solo. Although, I didn't really like the placing of the toggle switches on the right hand side. They're just too close to the throttle, and when you pull back you really have to reach around to flick the switches. But really, that's my only complaint. The stick itself was very responsive. In addition to pitch and roll, the stick also has built-in yaw for turning your ship. It feels really good flying around. The throttle has a good amount of resistance when accelerating. And you also get a wheel for increasing the resistance if you want it to be a little harder. Although, when I did that I found it would slide around my desk a bit, but Satec do include some holes for fastening it to your desk. You can adjust the tension in the spring on the stick, and in the box, Satex also include another size spring for different resistance. Bottom line is, if you're interested in flight simulators, a HOTAS system will make your experience so much more enjoyable. Remember, you can use this product in more than just space simulators. You can even unlock the throttle for games where you can independently control two engines. But man, the X56 definitely provides an in-depth and enjoyable experience, and I could never go back to playing this game on a keyboard and mouse. Imagine combining this with a virtual reality headset and exploring the galaxy. <laughs> that would be insane. If flight sims are your thing and you're looking for a proper hotel setup, I would highly recommend the X56. The build quality is top notch. And because it's 2016, it also has built in RGB lights for matching the rest of your setup. Yep, Ooh, that's yep. Nice. Yeah, that's good. You can check it out yourself in store or online. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to see more. I'm Eli from PB Tech, and I'll catch you in the next one.